Hey everyone, BS Gamer here, and I welcome you to the final episode of this Let's Play series of Final Fantasy IV on Android. In the last episode, I got all of my characters up to level 99, I also maxed out their stats, and I showed you guys where you can find some more rare items. And in between episodes, I maxed out all of my characters' HP by using Silver Apples. So we are just about ready to fight the second and final super boss of this game. But before we do that, I need to point out a couple things. First of all, I said in the last episode that I wanted Kane's HP, or not HP, MP, to be as low as possible. So that I can restore it after using Darkness. I was thinking of Phoenix, not Darkness. Phoenix will take effect if Kane dies, and if there are any other characters that are also KO'd. So right now my max MP is at 459, and my actual MP is at 459 right now. That means if Kane gets KO'd along with all of my party members, my other four party members will be revived with max HP since my MP is maxed out. Well, not at 900... 99, but my current MP is maxed out to its current max HP. Let's say my current MP was at 200. My other characters would still get revived, they just wouldn't have full HP. So this is why I want my MP to be at that low. It's not going to be low enough where I can just use a dry ether and get my MP back all the way up. I'll have to use an elixir, but it is what it is. Also, I need to point out something. While I was farming for silver apples, I noticed that um, the power for Rose's love was reset back to zero. In other words, cover was provided zero times so far. The reason why that happened was because I got a new phone and I had to cloud save and I had to resume playing the same file on a new phone. That file saved everything except for how many times cover was provided. So if you switch to another device using the same file you're gonna have to power up Rose's Love all over again by using cover 99 times. I already did that so we're good to go. Just keep that in mind, folks, if you're switching devices like I did. I switched from an S5 to an S9, which is really nice, because I also got an Otter phone case, so you won't hear my fingers tapping on the background as much anymore like you used to. It was pretty annoying for me to listen to. I, I don't want to deal with that anymore. So there you go. That, that's all I need to point out. So where is... The last super boss, well, we're near the Crystal Palace. If you go northeast, you will find this weird looking face right here. That is where we want to go. And just a reminder in order to fight the super boss, you must have the dark matter item that you can steal from Zeromus. Now that we're here, I'm going to show you my ability setup. For Ez, I gave him one of the extra brace augments, I put it on his auto battle command. I also have Hide, Steel, Salve, and Phoenix. So what Edge is going to do in the battle, he's going to steal an item from this super boss. It'll take a while because the steal rate is only at 19% at max level. But once I steal it, I'm going to have Edge hide for the rest of the battle, and if my other four characters die, I'll have him um, come out to battle and sal Phoenix down. But if he gets killed, then all the characters will be revived because he has Phoenix on, so I'm prepared for that. For Riddy, I have her using Dual Cast, Cry, Bless, and Bard Song. I also have her with Brace as well. 
Cecil is going to be my tank once again. I have him with Rose's Love, Draw Attacks, Last Stand, and Phoenix, as well as Brace. He's going to be in Brace for most of the battle. If I can get a few Rose's Love attacks off, that would be nice. But I'm not counting on it, which is why I have Rydia with Dual Cast so I can Dual Cast Meteor. Even though the Super Boss will counter Black Magic attacks, it'll be better for Rydia. Rydia to attack rather than Cecil. Rose is going to be my healer as usual. And I have her with the usual setup, except I have Fast Talker on instead of um, MP plus 50% because her MP is maxed out. So I have her with Fast Talker so, it'll, so it won't take as long for her to get her spells off. Here is Kane. This is his setup, and Kane's going to be my main attacker for this fight. In fact, he's going to be doing most, if not all, of the damage. I have him with Darkness and Auto Battle Command, Jump, Focus, Phoenix, and Limit Break. So what Kane's going to do, he's going to use Focus three times, I'm going to Auto Battle and use Darkness, and then he's going to Jump. We're going to repeat that process, we'll do it up to three times. And then I'll have him use Focus three times again, have him use Darkness, and then I'll have Rosa put Berserk on him to finish off the Super Boss. Now, if you have the DS version, you will have two Limit Break Augments. I highly recommend you give the second Limit Break Augment to Cecil. And... His battle command setup should be similar to Kane's. Instead of having jump, he would have attack. So Cecil would have darkness and auto battle command. He would have attack, focus, phoenix, and limit break. That would be his setup. And since Cecil would be using that setup in the DS version, Rydia would be your tank instead. I would still have her with Cry. Um, but she'll also have draw attacks, and she'll still have brace in the auto battle command. I would also recommend that, um, you give her last stand as well. That way it'll be easier for her to, um... Um, tank all the damage. I'll, I don't know, I'll edit in my preferred battle setup on video after I record it when I can think clearly. <laughs> so right now I can't. But yeah, you want Rydia to be your um, tank if, if you have the DS version because Cecil would be the second heavy attacker along with Kane. But that's not going to be the case in this version because I only have one limit break augment. This is my equipment setup. Ribbons and adamant armors and crystal rings on everyone, except for Cecil and King, because I don't have enough ribbons. I'm just having to use crystal helms and dragon helms. As you also notice, that Kane and Cecil have their crystal shields and dragon shields back on. And that's because onion shields are not as good in terms of magic defense. You want as much magic defense as possible, which is why I took the onion shields off. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to the face and look for dark matter. And you only need one, but I have two because I stole dark matter from both Zoroma's fights I did so far. You use it, and we will start the fight against Proto Babble. This guy is tough. So you're gonna wanna focus, and you're gonna want Rosa to heal Cecil right away. And of course, he died already. And we're gonna wanna slow this guy down as soon as possible. Oh, great. Please don't. Oh, this is why, <laughs> this is why I'm, um, dual casting Arise. 
Well, this is not off to a good start. Okay, at least we slowed the guy down. I also forgot to mention that I maxed out on Phoenix Downs and I bought a boatload of X potions as well. I should have bought elixirs, I forgot to do that, but it is what it is. And please don't kill Cecil again. Ah, darn it. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is not a good start. Um, we're gonna want haste. This is not exactly how I plan to start the battle. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna auto battle right now just so I can get Brace off and he's gonna kill Cecil again, I'm sure. Oh good, he survived this time. Oh, darn it. Okay, get to Rosa, get to Rosa, get to Rosa. Okay. Heal Cecil right now. And we'll use Shell as well. Okay, good. Ninth Dimension. That'll just put a bunch of status ailments on characters. And that won't affect us because they all have adamant armor on. Okay, now we're good. Alright. Alright. Steel, focus. Oh sweet, Mega Elixir. That's that's what you can steal from this guy. Okay, let's use an elixir on Kane. So we can get his um MP back up. Alright, we're gonna use protect as well, because this guy does have glow 199 and that is a physical based attack. What else can we use? No, oh, we can heal Cecil again. And we're gonna have Edge hide for now. Okay. Let's see. Let's wait for um, Pro Babble to attack. Come on, attack. You're not going to attack, are you? Oh, there we go. Alright, we're going to auto battle so we can put darkness on. Okay, good. Edge is still hiding. And now Kane will jump. And we're gonna throw a few meteors at this guy as well, even though he will counterattack. It'll be nice to get a little bit of extra damage. Oh, sweet, he didn't counterattack. Oh, yeah, he did. Never mind. Oh, cruddy. Okay. She didn't heal Kane, but that's okay. As long as Cecil's at max HP, we'll be fine.
All right, wait for Proto Babble to attack. All right, now we can auto battle. Throwing a couple more meteors out. Alright, let's heal Cecil. And we're gonna power cane up again. Okay, good, he's not counterattacking. And again, if you're playing the DS version, you're going to want Cecil to attack as well. Use Focus three times, use Darkness, and then have him attack. And you'd also want him to have an Onion Sword. I would actually recommend having two Onion Swords if you had the DS version, otherwise you really only need one. Alright. Oh. Darn it. Okay. We've we put too much um, damage on this guy, and he's going to start using stupid spells like that. Alright. We're going to have to heal this guy. Um... This is not good. Alright, we're probably gonna need Edge to come out here. Alright. Okay, actually, I think we're okay. We'll have him using a- oh, darn it! Guys, I might- oh, crud, um, I might die here. We damn- we- we did too much damage, and that- that's not good. Alright. Okay, heal, shell, okay, good. Okay. Alright, in this case, don't use Meteor with Rydia. Just have Kane do all the attacking. Okay, let's see. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, we want haste. We want haste. Okay, in the meantime, we want Rydia to use haste mark. We're gonna have Edge hide. Since we're okay for the time being. Come on, attack. Come on, Proto Babble, attack so I can auto battle. Okay, good. Okay, this is good. Okay, we're gonna put Berserk on Kane and we're gonna heal all of our characters. Nice! Critical attack. And just a few more attacks. And that should do it. Got him! So that should be your strategy. Focus three tons with Kane, then use darkness and have him jump. Repeat the process. Do it a total of three times, then have him... Focus three times again, use darkness, and then have Rosa put Berserk on Kane to finish that guy off. Don't even bother having Rhea use Meteor or having Cecil use Rosa's Love. Just have the other characters on standby after they put Cry and Bless and Bard Song on. In case something bad happens. Yeah, this is it. We have fought every single enemy and boss in this game. And I'm not sure if I showed this off earlier, but in the Lunar Whale, if you go all the way down to the bottom, you'll find a robotic fat chocobo, and you can find the Bestiary Event Theater and Music Box here. And as you can see, we have completed the Bestiary. That guy is tough. This is why you're going to want to max out all of your character stats, levels, HP, and you're going to want adamant armors and crystal rings on all of them. So there you go. This is it for this Let's Play. Thank you guys. So much for watching and for sticking with me throughout all these years. It took me a lot longer than I wanted to complete this LP. It, it just took way too long. School got in the way, work got in the way. And I really do appreciate your patience in between episodes. So yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next let's play hey guys just want to say thanks again for watching my final fantasy 4 let's play i do plan to do some more let's plays so if you guys want any more updates please subscribe to my channel and leave a like on my facebook page i will be posting updates there thanks again see you guys